Hey everybody, Conarcher here. Welcome back to Cartcraft. Today we're going to take another look at the game because they have recently added AI. So you have some competition out there on track. Keep in mind this is still early access and I think the AI is still early in development. But we're going to take a look at it and see what it's like with some other vehicles on track. Gives us a lot better idea as to what to expect from the game in the future. All right, here we are on track, and let's head to the track to a rolling start. I've spent a little time with the AI so far, trying to get reacquainted with the game because this is a very different animal to most of the sim racing that I do. Karting is something that's uh, pretty new to me. Like I mentioned in the first video of this. So oh, they got they're getting frisky. They are getting frisky. So yeah, it does take me a little while to get acquainted to this style of driving. Bear in mind I am using a Logitech G27 wheel here. Oh. I kinda pushed him out into the grass there, I think. I don't think he quite had the the track just yet there but yeah I'm using a G27 wheel on you know regular assist free difficulty AI are on normal and so far it's been a pretty good experience so there's some things there's some things I look for in a sim racer that features AI whoa you got too much air there and that's actually one of the things I look for, is do the AI make human-like mistakes? Or do they just stick to a script? Do they stick to the AI line and never, and never waver from it? That's one of the things the old Gran Turismo games actually did well, is the AI would occasionally miss a turn or, you know, outbreak themselves. They'd get a good run out of a turn versus you. Uh, you know, there was some variance in them. Been looking for that here, and there is some. But I would say they stick to a driving line pretty, pretty strictly. And what I mean by that is, say, down into... Okay, there was a good example right there. And then down the front straightaway right here. He's going to run wide over that curb and hop at the end. Every AI driver will do that every lap. Whether that's the preferred line or not, it's just a little too predictable. There's not enough variance there. You can really start to pick up on patterns. And uh, at the end of the day, it just makes them seem a little less human. Ooh, okay. But I guess it does make them a little bit easier to deal with, a little bit more predictable. Let's see if he drops the tires in the grass right here. Yep. That's something that they just all do pretty much every lap. So they're probably following some kind of pathing, which of course AI will need to do. But a little bit more variation in it would probably be good for it. See how they're hitting the same curves every lap. It's worth noting that, because I am not a carter, <laughs> I do not personally in real life do any karting, and I have more ties to full-body car racing. It's been noted that I, I take a racing line around the track instead of a karting line. I think they're taking more of a karting line because the devs, they know what a karting line is, and. I'm sure they lay down the lines for them. Whoa, buddy. Still able to have, hey, 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 some fun with it. There's another thing that I look for with AI. Awareness. Are they aware of your existence in the world or do they just stick to what they know? which is the driving lines, and pretend you don't exist. Uh, kind of the F1 2018 problem. Definitely some of that. There's definitely some of that where if you're 
taking the place of where their driver line should be, you're probably going to get hit. <laughs> Not, not terribly though, like I just pushed my way in there, made my presence known, and was able to pass him without being hit, even though I took his driver line. So it's not, it's not a full-time thing, it's not always a problem. Now I gotta try and defend, which is hard to do with, you know, vehicles with no mirrors. You gotta use your ears, you gotta listen for them. The arrows are certainly welcome and help. Once you're out front, though, it's a lot easier. Ooh, that's a little deep. Yep, yep. Off a rhythm. Not bad. The other things to keep in mind are our contact. I'm going to put in some clips here of uh, some contact highlights of uh, some examples, perhaps, of where the contact system is, is lying. Oh, they're getting wild. I was a... Jeez, they're very wild. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so they're a little aggressive. You're, you're driving on his shoulder. Oh, that's... That's, that's just rude. <laughs> Trying to give him a little bump. It was definitely effective, but um, then that happened. <laughs> Some improvements could be made there. Some improvements could be made there. The, what I was looking for was a system where contact didn't mean a spin out. So in karting, from what I can see and what I know, contact is pretty regular. It happens. You're gonna, you're gonna bump each other, you're gonna rear-end each other, you're gonna get rear-ended. It should be an instant spin-out, because the amount of grip that these have versus their power is actually really high, so they're fairly well stuck. But I also don't want them to be on rails, you know? That was the old Gran Turismo problem, where the AI were all on rails, and no matter what you did to them, it was very unlikely, as I run wide here, it was very unlikely that you were ever going to root them out of the way, and you could actually use them. Like, you could, you could overdrive into a turn, slam into the back of them, and slow down for the turn in time, and they would still make the turn. Luckily, we don't have that kind of situation here. They definitely respond to being hit. But I would say it's a little bit subdued compared to uh, what I would expect. But then again, I don't know karting super well. Okay. Easy. Oh, <laughs> it's easy to overdrive that first turn. Got a nice little gap going right here. Alright, feeling pretty comfortable. Nice. It's certainly a huge bonus, I think, to get out on your own. If you're running in a pack, it seems like you're generally slower. And I think the thing that might be missing a little bit there is some of the drafting, some of the bump drafting and working together as a pack. It's a pretty sizable track with a pretty sizable straightaway. I would su suspect you could probably pull off some pretty nice drafting here. But, fire the confetti. That's a race win. Not too bad, not too bad. That was my best lap on that last... Uh, Last lap, 102.6, not too shabby. Your shoulders break when you celebrate, that's a small problem. Well, let's not worry about that. Okay, 
let me load up another track and another race and we'll I want to talk a little bit about some of the physics development and force feedback development all right now for a track I'm a little less acquainted with I haven't run this one since the last time I played let's see how we do this one does have a nice long front trailer as well and a more traditional turn one where you can have a bit more passing there's some contact you can see what I mean, they're, they're rubbing each other side by side and getting into each other. And it's not a huge deal. They're not instantly spinning out. Okay, as I say that, one of the AI drivers just spun himself out on the brakes. I like that, that's good. That's such a good thing. Without that, it's so obvious and you know that you're racing against robots. <laughs> robots don't make mistakes. Not really pulling much of a draft there. She can get on a little bit of an outbreaking situation. Got all accelerated there. I'll tell you one thing. Having AI out here is a huge learning tool. I feel like I have picked up how to drive this track and how to drive the carts so much faster than I did the first play session. Thanks to having the carts out here as a little bit of guidance. Ooh, I got a good exit there. There was an incident ahead of us caused the car in front of me to slow down too much and then I I had to slam on the brakes in order to keep off of them. It happens and that's kind of part of karting. There's a lot of contact, there's a lot of spins. It's uh... It's not the cleanest form of motorsport out there, that's for sure. However, I think because of the what I was talking about earlier where when you're in the pack, it slows you down. That that incident isn't necessarily a race ruiner for us. And if they could implement a little bit of the drafting and the working together as a pack, or working together as duos versus a pack, basically that's that's the way it works where a couple of carts can go fast, a pack of carts will go slow, then that could be even better. Whoa, ran wide on me there. So there's still one issue I'm having, and that is with the force feedback. It's still very good on turn, or maybe even mid-turn and, and exiting the turns. It's really good with steering rotation. When you have wheel into it, you feel the force feedback. The problem I have is when you are in the neutral zone. When your wheel is straight or you're just turning in, the force feedback feels very light, non-responsive, and, and hoppy. And the biggest thing is I feel like I'm constantly putting muscle into the wheel trying to keep it straight and trying to keep myself pointed forward like with my left hand I'm pressing right and my right hand I'm pressing left all the time to keep the wheel straight and that is where most of my energy is exerted with the game and with driving and that feels a little awkward oh Oh, good race! That was a nice little move. I think I got him. I'm pretty sure I got him. Fourth, yeah! Well, that was fun. <laughs> that ended up being quite a fun finish. I'm gonna try the other track. I haven't really messed with the third track at all. So, let's hop over there. Alright, now on the last track, we got eight AI drivers out here. This should be a, a royal mess on a track that I don't know very well. There we go! Oh, I thought I could shoot at the middle. Little bit of frame lag once you get all eight out here. Just a touch. Probably the Santa hats. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody, somebody's very slow in the middle. That caused a royal mess. Oh, buddy! Alright, well, we're getting plenty of contact time now. 
It definitely feels a little framey. Very difficult because I don't know the track. All right, all right. Let's let's get our bearings straight here. Let's try and relearn this track. I only did like a few laps here. In the very beginning. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like the handling. I like the steering feel, and I don't have any big problems with it. It's just the the force feedback that I currently could use a bit of help with. Maybe it's a setting for me. I have everything mostly on the defaults for a G27. Maybe my wheel's just not good enough? <laughs> or maybe that's how carts really are. Maybe they are just super numb in the middle. In my, like, rental cart experience, that's not usually the case. But I almost seem to wear myself out trying to keep that wheel centered. It's not the... Oh, they got into a mess there. It's not the turning in that's, that takes a lot of exertion. It's the uh, going down the straightaways that takes the most. And like I mentioned in the first video, still lacking a little bit of that braking feel. I would love it if we could get a little bit of force feedback interaction with the brakes. Yeah, that turns a different apex than what I'm treating it as. Alright, let's try a wider entry to this last turn. That curve on the inside's too aggressive though. Boy, everything just happens so fast with carts. Yep, that was ideal. <laughs> I think this is definitely the hardest of the three tracks to learn. It's also a pretty difficult one to pass at, I can I can tell already. Turn one basically your one opportunity to get it done. Maybe if you got a, a good entry right here you could do it. Close in a bit. Just lift here. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Okay. All right. Obviously, I would need a little bit more practice with this track. <laughs> but I feel like my shoulders are already collapsing. So I think that's gonna do it for our our little check-in on Kartcraft for the day. Some good racing. I, so far, have had positive experiences with with battling the AI when I have the opportunity. Still a steep, steep learning curve with this game, though. I would say much more so than, than most any other sim I've ever played. The only thing that maybe has a steeper learning curve would be jumping into a high rank series or a high-speed series in iRacing. But, like, starting out MX-5 Cup in iRacing, definitely easier than this. I don't know... I still don't know what future plans are if they're going to have some theater series or smaller CC carts, but I could definitely see some benefit there if they were to go that direction. Pretty positive impressions of the AI. If you were waiting to give it a try until the game had some some opponents or some kind of competition, then I think this is probably the update you were waiting for because there's certainly good enough and fun enough. Oh, I set the fastest lap of the session. Apparently, I finally finally got the track right. Yeah, I think they're definitely good enough that you can have some fun with that and and cut your teeth a little bit, get get a little bit better with with karting if you're new to it. Having them out here will help. I that scared me a bit. I will continue to track and watch Kartcraft's development, and uh, yeah, we'll make some videos on it whenever there is some major updates or I just kind of get the itch to take a look at it. 
curious to see how uh, some of the driving stuff develops or, or if there's maybe some solutions to the to the force feedback but I look forward to tracking along the progress and checking it out in the future thank you as always for watching and I will see you later